Hi fans, the news channel Football Moments is here to tell you the latest whispers and stories from the football fields. In this video, Liverpool leading race to sign Ramsey. Bale move to Cardiff is possible. Lukaku doing all to return to Inter. Salah has told his friends he will join Barcelona. Notts Forest spend £100 million this summer. And other stories. Dear football lovers, we're trying very hard for you and are forced to apply for support. It won't be difficult for you to click the subscribe button to receive the latest football news, and you will seriously help us to gain 1,000 subscribers much faster. Thank you in advance. Gareth Bale has been strongly linked with a shock move to boyhood club Cardiff, who are playing in the championship. The Guardian and ESPN's Nicky Bandini addressed those rumours on Sky Sports News Paper Talk. I think it can be feasible. He played fewer minutes for Real Madrid than he did for Wales last season. It seems like he's just keeping his football for his national team. Cardiff is a nice idea, he can return home and it would be the first time he'd play for a club side in Wales. His wages at Real Madrid would be more than the entire first team squad at Cardiff so what concessions would be made? And what would Cardiff do to meet his needs? He hasn't played a lot of football for someone who is an extraordinary footballer. Even at Tottenham, he started just 10 games and scored 11 goals, he could do it at a bigger club if he wants to. Romelu Lukaku dreams to move back to Inter Milan, as Sky Sports News reports. Lukaku is certainly doing what he can to make that Inter move happen. He's keen to move back, it's no surprise as he had the best season of his career at Inter where he won the league. He's waiting on Thomas Tuchel's meeting with the new owners, but it seems like there's movement from his agent to get back to London quickly and meet with Tuchel. Inter are keen to make it happen but their finances mean they can't buy him back for the same fee they sold him. There may be a ladder deal where they take him and pay an initial fee up front. Leeds United star Rafinha will turn down Liverpool's interest in favour of a move to Barcelona, reports Sport. The Brazilian is in high demand this summer, and Barca plan to approach Leeds in the coming days to thrash out a transfer after already agreeing contract terms with the player. Liverpool are leading the race to sign Aberdeen right-back Calvin Ramsey this summer. It's understood the Champions League finalists are Ramsey's preferred option out of a number of interested clubs from England, Italy and Germany. Personal terms are not expected to be an issue and it is now up to the clubs to agree a fee. No formal approach has been made from Liverpool yet. And Aberdeen will only consider selling the player for well above their record fee, which currently stands at £3 million. Mohamed Salah has told friends he has decided against renewing his contract at Anfield, reports The Mirror. Salah instead hopes to play out one final season at Liverpool and then join Barcelona, who have pledged to take him on a free transfer next summer. According to De Telegraph, if Barcelona are offered a price they deem to be right, they will be happy to sell De Jong this summer, with Man United the current favourites to sign him. Barcelona consider the 25-year-old to be a valuable asset that they are willing to sell in order to improve their financial situation. Eric Ten Hag is reportedly very keen to reunite with the Dutchman after their spell together at Ajax and regards him as a top priority target. The Times have reported this morning that Nottingham Forest are plotting a £100 million summer transfer window spree, with Burnley goalkeeper Nick Pope an initial target. Journalist Nicky Bandini of The Guardian and ESPN says it sounds implausibly huge and a round number, but then you see what £100 million buys in the Premier League. Newcastle bought two players for £70 million in the January transfer window. They're saying Nick Pope for Forrest who would cost £40 million. You do need to spend that money to play in the Premier League nowadays, so it's not as big and astonishing as it sounds. You've got this ambitious ownership who talks the big game, but wants bigger things. The first objective for any promoted team is to stay up. It's a real challenge to do that, you don't see clubs coming up and challenging for Europe. Steve Cooper has a big job on his hands, some clubs have that secret source and that big of magic and if you buy loads of players you can disrupt it. But that gap from the championship to the Premier League is real and you have to honestly look at the gaps in your squad. Perhaps you need a new goalkeeper and a new centre forward. What do you think about Nottingham Forest future in the Premier League? Write your comments below, that is all for now. If you prefer our video be sure to subscribe and click the like button. See you soon.